You know, guys, I, I, I sit here and I, I, I got to tell you, you guys love your earth domes, your, you know, your, your gardenia. I live in South Dakota in a, in a home here connected to the grid. I don't have those same struggles that you do. I have a gig you internet. I, I live in this, like, I, I feel like you guys live in a second world. Like, is gardenia a first world, second world, or third world country? Well, because we rely on the United States for information infrastructure and data services, I'd say we're a third world country. Okay. I mean, but I mean, third world country developing technologies that are pushing you into a second world country. Well, no, no, we have, so we have, so, okay. So if you want to, what's the definition of first world versus third world versus second I'll world? I'll look it up for you for sure. I'll get it on no, the screen. Hold on, yeah, because I, I remember looking this up years ago and going, and, and not being satisfied with the answer. Definition, first world, third world. And I've never heard of a definition or even a concept of a second world, but yeah, it would be it would it would make sense that it would be in between. Here we go. From Wikipedia, the terms first world, second world, world, and third world. Where is it? Uh, well, I got one for you, Adam. I, I'll help you out with this one. This one's an actual website. Broke it down. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my God, I got it. In 1945, the United Nations used the terms first, second, third, and fourth world to define the relative wealth of nations, although the popular use of the term fourth world did not come about until later. That's it. So, but what's the difference? Well. Well, so it's all based on wealth. Gotcha. So when we say we live in a first world country and we see like obscure maps that you see on something like Google here, um, where you go, well, what are first world countries look like? Well, here's their examples, right? Put it on screen. Ken and Karen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Terrible. Well, so... Like I said, so you're a third world country surrounded by a first world country. No, 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 no. In terms of average wealth, we're a first world country surrounded by a third world country. Okay. Because the, the, the average wealth in Gardenia is, you know, we have our own currency. We haven't announced it yet, but everybody here has plenty of it and is extremely wealthy in all the ways of life that count. Um, in fact, here in Gardenia, um our we, we have uh zero chronic health conditions uh, among our residents um we've had uh zero hospitalizations of our residents this year in fact the residents of gardenia here have figured out how to be so healthy that we don't even need a hospital uh now if you say you know you're wealthy if you have doctors you know you might say we're not wealthy because no there are no doctors who live in gardenia but wouldn't you, isn't, isn't that a measure of health? Health is real wealth. We are so wealthy that we don't need doctors here. So, I, you know, we're definitely a first world country, you know, by any standards of, of wealth. And certainly compared to the United States where, you know, real poverty is rampant and, and you know, millions of Americans are not are about to miss their july 1st rent payment and, and be in gardenia i'm assuming that uh, everyone's going to be more than able to pay their their uh, if there was a rent to begin oh, with yes absolutely we don't yeah or uh, unemployment um well I, I would say unemployment here is really uh more like a hundred percent oh okay uh, because because we have the better goal of a hundred percent retirement and and oh. net wealth so, so that it's not we, necessarily unemployed it's it it's essentially retired Right. Well, uh, that's 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 the goal. That really should be the goal. You know, 100% employment means 100% wage slavery and working for the man. Whereas here, everybody is you know is able to work so little uh, and still live well that you know we, we we more or less consider all of ourselves retired and and as, as and just as as entrepreneurs, you know, working when it's fun for us. So I, I'd say you know by that we're we're like zero with world. We're like. 
Uh, we're better than first. So you've evolved past the need for classing the world. Yeah, more economically. We don't use terms like this to to measure uh, our our fellow members of the you know the global community of nations. Wow. We you know we we judge people more or we judge other nations more based on how ethical they are. Yeah, and absolutely. How they adhere to the non-aggression principle and. Uh, you know, there are very few praiseworthy nations in that category. Now, but I got to ask Adam, because the comments sometimes I see in the comments, I, I see, oh, you're a monarchy, you know, like, how do you, how do you, I, I know that you said there's a long title and, and I'd like to hear you hit the title. You know, what is the official, if I'm, if I'm, let's say I'm representing CJ Stan, how do I address your, your country uh, formally? Well, you, you mean, uh, what would you call it? Categorically? I mean, I know you say shorthand is gardenia, but there's long, there's a longer. Right. Well, the, you know, I, hmm. I, I, you, I've got a bunch of words that I need to add to it now, but it is something <laughs> like. But at the current the allodial, state. The allodial, sovereign, bountiful, constitutional, propertarian kingdom of the garden of freedom in perpetuity. That's and you, pretty close and you identify yourself as a king. Yes, because it is a constitutional propertarian monarchy, which is the only legitimate form of government, really. And in a, in a communal government, you could say that, you know, if a bunch of people pool their resources, you know, they're all the king, they're all the sovereign. And really, that's the only time government is legitimate. You can kind of share your, you can share your, sovereignty with others um but if, if you are sovereign and you have that respect for your individual you are the king of your own life or the queen you you are the alpha of your own life and and in that sense is the sovereign i think that's the ultimate goal of, of realizing human potential isn't that can't be that explained then with the way the u.s government i, I don't know if it's in much effect in some places but the kind of the king of your castle doctrine sure yes exactly uh, they, 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 well prop by property you know, because I own this land entirely, and even as a citizen of the United States, the, the government recognizes my ownership. And because I own correct. this land, and I they am will entitled, uphold it in their courts, correct. Exactly. And I am entitled to declare my independence on my own land in a way that's even more righteous and less questionable than the American Revolution. So when we get there, we're not, we're, we're, we're speaking in, in somewhat forward terms here or future terms because we haven't gone through the legal process and our, our july 4th special this year is going to be laying out the plan for declaring our independence uh at, on next independence day uh, and in doing so showing that we can do it right and appeal peacefully to the country that we are declaring our independence from do it legally and in a way that if, if the uh, if the United States government fails to recognize our sovereignty here, they would similarly have to fail to recognize the sovereignty of the United States itself and return uh, this whole territory to the purview of the Queen of England. And I don't think they're going to do that. I think they would choose to do the right thing when the, the, the wrong thing would be disastrous for them even if i may sir when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among them the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's god entitle them a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation, and what could be more American than disconnecting the political bands that have binded us? Yep. So that's it. We're going to be declaring independence.